Hey, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video and today in this video, I've got three devices over here. My Redmi Note 7 Pro, the Redmi Note 3 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off like what ROM is running on which device. And I have been running like custom ROMs in all three devices over here. So by the wallpaper, I think you guys already guessed it. This is the AOSIP Dirtface ROM and this is the August build. And I have been running this ROM even from like July. If you go into the settings, let me show you the build date over here. If you go into the Android version. Here, as you can see, I am running the latest build over here, which is the 8th August 2019 build. And Android version is Pi, of course, and the security patch is latest August 1st, 2019. And here is the like kernel, the stock kernel version and stuff. And I, I did a full review of this ROM. If you didn't see it, here is a card for that. And I have used the uh, like latest Peter's recovery to flash it and I am decrypted on the like recovery or the storage over here. And I flash this from with micro G apps and fcrypt. And again, if you have not seen the review, you can see it from that card. And this ROM is running super fine over here. No issues whatsoever that I could find over here. And I'm using the ANX camera, which you can flash with TWR recovery by just like going to your TWR recovery and flashing the 130 ANX camera zip. Then flash the like 48 megapixel fix. This camera will be working fine. Even portrait mode and stuff is working. Google camera, you can install it too because camera to API is pre enabled and Google camera is working fine over here in this ROM. And Google Pay and stuff, everything works. You do not need to worry at all. So that is how it is. Let me just like leave it aside for the time being. Now let's switch to the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, what ROM I am running? If you ask, let me just show you. Let me go to the settings, about phone and Android version. You can see that the Android version is Pi and the security patch is latest of August 1st, 2019. And here is the stock kernel version, Illusion Plus and the build number. Well, this is the latest Havoc OS. The version is 2.8 and here is the build date again, 8th August 2019. And it is an official build for Wired or Redmi Note 5 Pro. And one thing I, that I do not like over here is that there is the like Snapdragon camera as stock camera. No MIUI camera is present by default over here. So that is a bummer. But yeah, you can install Google cameras if you want to. And the like banking app should be working fine. There is kind of a like glitch over here. The animations are a little bit like kind of stuttering in my opinion. But sometimes it's fine. But sometimes it does lag a little bit. And the stock launcher over here, let me show you that this is the launcher launcher present over here as the iOS IP derp paste on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This is the same launcher over here and you have the double tap gesture and stuff in the home screen. So everything is there. You can increase or decrease the brightness. There are like a lot of customizations, but while flashing the ROM, one thing I must say that I have flashed it with the latest micro G apps. Then like the Google app data backup was unable to restore and it was kind of stuck while downloading and I don't know actually why it happened but yeah I had to flash the ROM again with the older micro G apps. So that is one bummer then it worked but with the latest micro G apps I think there was some issues to restore the like Google app data backup. So yeah I'm just letting you guys know that. So you can install Google cameras if you want to and the UI is pretty smooth, not like too much laggy, but yeah, it's Havoc OS. So there are plenty of customizations and that is why this UI may get a little bit slower with time. Just letting you guys know. Also, there is like all the things like charging info, then there is status bar and like everything else, lock screen stuff and face unlock or like force fingerprint authentication or always unlock with fingerprint scanner is there in this ROM. You don't need to worry. And here is how the lock screen looks like. As you can see, it shows the temperature and stuff. If you need it, you can definitely flash it. Now, let's switch to the Redmi Note 3 now. And I can increase the brightness as you can see, just by sliding on the status bar again. This is a really handy feature. And here I have the AOSIP dirt faced. And as you can see, this is the same ROM as the Redmi Note 7 Pro and both devices are running this rom is like super fine and you can definitely flash the avsip derface latest one on the redmi note 3 2 if you have one and let me just show you which build is it let me just quickly go into the settings then about phone android version 
here as you can see i am running the latest dirt face drum over here and the android version is pi of course and the build date 8 august 2019 the same build for every rom almost and as you can see it's the dirt face homemade and here as you can see the stock kernel is the screamer kernel and the security patch is latest august 1st 2019 so on all the devices i have latest security patch and here if you go into the display settings and stuff you will find all the customizations like the quick setting toggle style changing option even for the redmi note 3 and voltage and stuff is working fine over here there is call recording option too in the in call ui so like everything is there and on this latest build we also get the like let me show you this always unlock with the fingerprint scanner option and it was not there this like force fingerprint option was not there in the earlier builds of this same rom on the redmi note 3 but right now it is present and you can definitely use it if you want to so in my opinion this is a pretty great rom but yeah there are some cons that like the stock camera over here on the redmi note 3 is the snapdragon camera too and this is kind of a older build of the snapdragon camera and there is no MIUI camera present over here but everything works even the front camera and stuff is working fine over here you don't need to worry at all regarding the camera you can install google camera too if you want to because camera to pay is pretty enabled over here again and widgets and stuff is there the stock launcher again is the launcher launcher and vaulty and stuff i already said i think is working fine and even the double tap to sleep gesture is there so no issues whatsoever this is how the lock screen looks like you can change this look like however you want you can like get the android q styled logo up here like not the logo i mean the clock style you can get it and you can increase the size of this weather widget and stuff that is how it is and the fingerprint scanner speed is decent for this kind of like device and this device is fairly old i would say so this is running super fine and frankly the battery life over here in all three devices are pretty decent when compared to miui and i would say like the battery life over here like it totally depends on like your usage and the like how older your device is so starting with the redmi note 7 pro we would get the best battery life well i can pretty much get eight to nine hours of screen on time with the redmi note 7 pro and with this usip dirt face talking about the redmi note 3 uh, you can get definitely like good battery life if you have a newer battery hardware if you have replaced your battery but if you haven't you would get about three plus hours like three and a half hours of screen on time max to max because this device is almost three years old so the battery is pretty old now and you can get pretty much three and a half maximum of four hours of screen on time with the redmi note 3 now talking about the redmi note 5 pro so even with the havoc os installed the latest one the redmi note 5 pro's battery is pretty great i would say so the battery life on the redmi note 5 you can still get about six and a half or like seven hours of screen on time with this redmi note 5 pro so that is how the battery life fares with all three devices over here so thank you so much for watching this video guys this was a quick video like for which rom i'm running on which device and I think this video may help you guys if you have one of these devices to choose what rom to run i'm not quite like saying that these roms are the best for these devices but i would say these roms are quite good for daily driving on these devices thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now